Hey everyone, I'm coming in here on a, where am I looking? I don't know where my camera is supposed to be. I'm coming in here, I think it's there, so hopefully I'm looking at the right place. I am coming in here really quickly um, on the fly because I think it's a really important um, topic to, to bring our awareness to. Before you listen to this message, because there is a really important message in here and an invitation for you. Before I give you that, I would love for you to watch the last video, today's vlog, on uh, uh, Patricia Coda Robles' um, YouTube channel. It, when I was listening to it this morning, I just was, I couldn't, I could barely integrate the energy. And the reason being is, it confirmed everything I have believed in the last in the in the last month in the last month and I have been telling even like Bud my, my husband and for those of you who might be watching this who, who don't know me I'm not gonna do a whole introduction and all of that you can go back and look at all that um, but Bud and I I've been telling Bud I'm like honey I think we're ascending like I think we're in the ascension process I mean we're, we're always in the ascension process right the evolutionary process of of, of um, increasing our intelligence always in the growth stages of learning of life and having more meaning, having more purpose, going into the direction of um, the, the, the opposite direction of, of how we've been taught to go. The ascension process is how we discover that we, can, we actually have freedom and sovereignty available to us and we start to tap into it. And I have felt that sovereignty. I have understood how to live. Um, I've gotten more clear on how to live um, in that sovereignty in this physical world. So what I have, what I have found in the last month, um, when you when you read uh, or when you watch Patricia's last uh, video, you will see that the magical month of May, or you will, it will confirm what we have been talking about in Storehouse Social for the last month and what we have been experiencing. Y'all, I haven't been on YouTube much because I've been spending a lot of time, a lot of time, energy, not working, but really architecting out Storehouse Social to be a place for us to convene and come together and live in a higher reality. And I've been trying to do that in different facets and in different expressions over the last many, many years. But in May, I have felt that clarity. And so in the month of May, I have understood the quickness of not when knowledge comes and we put it into action and within a month, Storehouse Social went from an idea that has been trying to express itself for many, many years to a solidified, architected consciousness entity. And within days, within days, it attracted beautiful beings of light who saw what so what what storehouse social was becoming and wanted to be a part of it and in the month of may the five of us have sat together in storehouse social in the office in the living room we've convened in the study um, studying Nikola Tesla's 369 and that has activated something and as we have activated that 369 vortex at the same time that solar flash came through it came through and if you listen to Patricia's uh, Patricia's video you will learn that in May astronomers spotted the largest cosmic explosion ever witnessed ten times more brighter uh, I'm sorry ten times brighter than any known star or supernova listen to that Astronomers spotted in May the largest cosmic explosion ever witnessed. It was 10 times brighter than any other known star or supernova. And this is just the beginning of celestial events we will be able to receive in, on Earth, on, on planet Earth now, and because it is in a more rarefied position in the cosmos what do we know about the ascension process is we are we go through this process every 26,000 years 
and we go through this photon belt every 11,000 years. We circle around, we 11,000 years, we go through it over here, and every 26,000 years, we come back to where we are right now in that photon belt, in the, the um, in the, the uh, sorry, in Aquarius, which this particular vibration in Aquarius, in this photon belt, rises, raises up the frequency of Earth so much that it changes humanity. It changes human consciousness. It changes the consciousness of the planet. And when the, the consciousness of the planet rises, intelligence rises, creation of all kinds rise in the highest good, in the highest of intelligence, Therefore, everything shifts as far as how we operate as humans now. Lifestyle shift. Everything starts to become a more truthful and balanced, um, intelligent lifestyle so that it is sustainable. And this is not only science, but it's also spiritually what this time has, has prophesied. So we're seeing it unfold in physical reality. It's no longer the spiritual woo-woo, you know, uh, conspiracy theory. It's happening. And astronomers, science, saw the largest cosmic explosion ever witnessed. Ten times more brighter. I put more brighter. Ten times brighter than any known star or supernova. And this is just the beginning of a celestial, celestial events that we will be able to receive on Earth from this more rarefied position in the cosmos, meaning we are moving in, we are that that supernova, or I'm not going to call it that, that um, cosmic explosion is still that happened in May, that happened in May, which is why we had an acceleration in an acceleration in understanding, in consciousness, in movement in our in our world, in our life, in our physical life. But that energy is not here all the way. It is still flooding in and it's going to last majority of June as well, which means that coincides and that confirms and affirms the same message we all got in Storehouse Social when we gathered for the supernal, um, for the June energetic, um, the energetic reading. It was so fun. We laughed. Um, if you're not in Storehouse Social, I'm inviting you to come in. It's it's a virtual homestead where it's only peace, it's only love, it's only laughter, and yet we're getting pretty serious about what we're doing in there for our community. And in the month of May, we have we have um, we have learned how to operate outside of the 3D system. We have brought five pillars of peace together to hold the consciousness and hold the space for the homestead. We have also brought together investors, literal physical investors who are looking to invest in a physical homestead and in physical homesteads um, hubs around our country so that Storehouse Social can not only be the place you come to when you just need a little peace or you just want to come out and, and hang out with people like us who talk about this stuff. We don't gossip. We don't do any, like, we don't do much that, like, takes us down into the lower realms of, of the world anymore. When we get together and laugh, we're joking about all of the, the things that we believe in, all of the, the truths, all of the, the spiritual nature. We come together literally in peace and sometimes that's pretty irreverent and those are those are the communities that are starting to come together because we see that life is all about simply following our curiosities connecting with people like us communing and sustaining ourselves and then we do that first by being in peace and when we are in peace we are the supernal channel and receive guidance and direction at, at any cost at any, at any at any corner so that we are able to be guided and find the magic and find the connections and find the ways to sustain ourselves in all ways because it comes like magic in this place in this place our rarefied position in the cosmos science is backing up our ability the frequency that we are in now is backing up our ability to actually create this earth uh, this new earth and I'm seeing it and we are experiencing it inside of storehouse social magical shit is happening and it's all documented inside of storehouse social all of the Akashic records are there for you to sort through 
whether it's in our organizational office or whether it's in the living room, whether it's in the 369 room in the study, you go to the study in, in Storehouse Social and you sit there and, and look at some of the conversations, listen in on some of the conversations we've had and you will see how the magic is happening and it's really fun what is happening. You gotta come in and visit us, seriously. So the Goodwill Festival of Humanity, this is one giant buoyant wave of life, that light that came in on June 4th. It's just a couple of days ago um, from when I'm recording this. That was just Sunday for this week. Um, that is still flowing, like I said. So this giant wave of light basically is moving us, moving us over the bridge of freedom. And that's what connects heaven and earth. So in May and this month of June, in our Supernal Channel um, reading, we said June was a massive month of expansion. You can go to the Supernal Channel Theater in Storehouse Social and watch that. I'm not putting that stuff on YouTube because this is sacred. This is like sacred stuff and we're only, sorry, we're only, uh, I'm only sharing it with Storehouse Social. I'm, I'm only playing in, in, in that world now because that's the world of peace that I want to be in and YouTube is not that for me. So I'm going to just pop in here from time to time and invite you in. But that connects heaven and earth and the initial frequency of a new solar reality. What that means is we have crossed the threshold. When we created Storehouse Social, we crossed the threshold, so to speak, into that new world. And that's why I've barely been on YouTube. I've been in that new world because it's really fun to me. It's really connecting and it's really soul filling. And that frequency is because of a new solar reality. We have crossed the threshold. So we have planted Storehouse Social and ourselves, if we are having this conversation in resonance, it means you too have anchored into the initial frequencies of the fifth dimensional frequency because that is where we are in this position, this rarefied position in the cosmos. Welcome to the 5D, y'all. Welcome to the 5D. We're there. And only our holy breath is all we need to sustain ourselves. It's the only thing that we need to sustain ourselves at this point. Because by just breathing in this frequency, we are connected, we are guided. We are, we are breathing a higher level of divine intelligence through the prana in every breath. This stretches our consciousness and we will receive guidance now that will help us to sustain Mother Earth in this new solar reality. We have navigated the solar flash. And remember, this is a, a sequential process. The higher ones will, will experience the flash first. We've done that. And it was intense because we've talked about that in Storehouse Social. How much has changed for us in the month of May in so many ways. And at the same time, we navigated it without a whole lot of, like, of chaos. And the sequential flash is going to hit the consciousnesses of humanity in the the order of frequency so it will start to now press down on the lower realms a little more so this flash when it does hit those lower realms when it that wave hits those lower realms it is going to push the darkness out so it will get you know just think of like when a, an entity on, on a movie or whatever it like is uh um you know, when like the poltergeist or whatever, like whenever the entity is, is, is finally being um, exposed and, and, and killed, it goes crazy. It's like, it goes crazy. We'll see those lower realms. We'll see people around us who are still in the unawakened state that will freak out, that will glitch out. And that's going to come in a lot of um, weird and painful ways. But for us, we understand what's happening and we watch it. We simply watch it because there's no stopping it and there's no we're, we're past that point at this point we've already chosen we're already there so we just have to watch the world um catch up to us and as they catch up to us they're going to want to hang out and they're going to want to know a little bit more what happened what just happened what is happening to me and we're going to welcome them into this into the homestead where peace is our sustainability where the holy breath is our is our prana um prana is our holy breath and that is all we need. That is sustainability. That is sovereignty. And that is where we're communing in Storehouse Social. So thanks for being here. If you're watching this inside the living room, because I'm going to post it there. And if you're on YouTube, 
I don't know when I'll be back, <laughs> but um, you might want to come over because I'm, I'm kind of getting lost in a world that's um, free of all the limitations that, that these, these platforms have, have put on, on people. So we're free and sovereign in the storehouse. So come on over and you're invited. We'll leave the light on for you. Thanks for being here, everyone. Bye.